We're here in Indola. This is Livingstone Road and this is Magoli. Macaulay. Okay? <clears throat> now at the corner So here at the corner of Livingstone and Macaulay, we have this tree. This is the Mupapa slave tree. Now, from the little history we've gathered, this was a resting point for slaves uh, during the slave trade in the 19th century. Um, Arab slave traders used to rest here with their slaves before selling them off or proceeding to where they're going. Now, this is my theory, my theory. Okay? I'm trying to piece together some history. Um, we had slaves coming from East Africa, Mozambique, um, Tanzania, um, at Zanzibar. So they have come from that side, pass through this area, the Copper Belt area, which includes the tree along into a dollar carriage. The tree which is filled, it's also cage uh, protected like this. That was also part of the slave trade. It was a slave tree. So they pass this area, proceed to Angola, Lobito, where they would then be sold off to the slave markets in Europe and uh, in America. Now this is uh, this is me piecing pieces of history together. So all those who are historians. us understand this history. If you did history, if you know your history, uh, are we correct? What used to happen here? That's a bit of history we want to know. Uh, and three other things we want to know. So number one is, are we correct in assuming that the slave traders, the slaves and the slave traders used to come from East Africa proceeding to uh, Angola and being sold there? <clears throat> number two, those who know their um, trees. Is this a Mukuyu tree or a Mupapa tree? It's, it's, it's used interchangeably. So we don't know if it's a Mukuyu tree or a Mupapa tree or why those two names are used. Number three, we'd like to know, is this the original tree? There's a history which says the tree was uh, eaten by termites. The original tree in the 19th century was eaten by termites. So we're not sure. That's another thing. And then finally, is where were they going? Were these, from the history we've explained, were these slaves directly from there just passing in transit through here? Or were they slaves from Zambia who were sold as well and captured and sold? Were Zambians involved in the buying or selling uh, of slaves? So this is a bit of history. This is the Mupapa slave tree here in Indola. Um, it's a piece of national heritage, national history, um, so you can come here and find out about that. For now, that's a history. Those are the questions you'd like to know. I'm the Kumba guy here in Indola, inviting you to the Mupapa slave tree. So, let's go.